Here is one of the projects I've been working on. This is a digital bench power supply. Somehow this is a follow-up to one of my older projects, another power supply that at that time used the LM317 to achieve variable output. But it had serious issues with short circuit protection. This time I went fully digital with this design and I am using a microcontroller, the 80 mega 8 to generate a signal used to command the base of several power transistors connected in parallel on the heatsink, you can see in the video. The command signal is generated via a DAC module consisting of the microcontroller's PVM output and a low-pass filter, further buffered and amplified by an op-amp, the TL082. Well, there are quite a few pros and cons here. On the positive side, we have the microcontroller do all the hard work and we simplify the circuit by moving the complexity in the software. A drawback would be that by using the op-amp, we are unable to reach the top input voltage limit, so our output is a little lower than what the transformer can provide. Just to give you an example, the transformer I am using can put out up to 31 volts and uh, this design will go just up to little below 26 volts. So I limited the output to 25 just to be on the safe side on the software level. Nevertheless, this problem can be solved by using a better op-amp, one that can go rail to rail. However, the bottom level of 0 volts can be reached with no issues. And just to show you a quick demo on that, I'm using one of the two buttons controlling the voltage to go down to 0 volts. On the multimeter connected to this supply, you'll see a parallel measurement of the output voltage. There we are. And let's get back, let's say, to 1 volt. There will be a very small discrepancy between the values I'm selecting and uh, those displayed on the multimeter. Well, that is because in the voltage control block I'm using a measurement uh, circuit consisting of uh, a voltage divider with two resistors. And uh, in my calculations I've used the value printed on the resistors while we know that there is a certain tolerance and uh, the value of each resistor varies a little bit. So this gives a small error, giving that uh, discrepancy between the values I'm selecting on the power supply and those measured by the multimeter. To solve this problem, we can either use better resistors with uh, smaller tolerances like uh, 1%, or my favorite solution, to just use the multimeter and measure the actual value of the resistors and use the correct value in the code. The errors are too small to matter. Let's go to a bigger value, let's say 5 volts, and try to see how the current control works. I'll just set the multimeter for measuring current and now if I'm connecting it to the power supply's output I'll be putting it in short circuit so we'll also hear a sound, an alarm sound. The alarm goes, goes on. The heatsink is uh, monitored by a temperature sensor and we have a fan that goes on at a certain threshold. For this uh, demo that was set to 30 degrees Celsius, we are almost there. If the temperature continues to grow, when we reach 50 degrees we will cut the power and uh, sound the alarm. The problem with this fan is uh, it's a 12 volts fan, while I've designed the circuit for a 5 volts fan so it needs a little push to start, but you get the idea. and. Uh, Let's make the temperature increase uh, even further. For this I'll set the current limit to a higher level. Let's go for 5 amps.
you'll see the multimeter confirming the output current, which is very nice. We are set to 4 amps. Let's make that 5. You can see the temperature increasing. So, there we are. The power is cut off, you can see it on the multimeter. I just disconnect everything because what's happening here is that uh, the alarm cuts the power just until the temperature is above uh, the threshold, in this case 50 degrees Celsius. But then it lets it uh, go again if uh, the temperature decreases. So what you're getting here is constant temperature. And uh, we want now to see that the alarm turns off. Okay, we are finally at 50 degrees and the alarm went off. Going back above 50 degrees, using the multimeter again to put the supply in short circuit. We are almost at Okay, we are at 49, close to 50, just a little bit more. Okay, I think you got the idea. The supply also has a relay that is used because uh, the secondary of this transformer has a center tap, so if I am below 12 volts, I'm using the center tap to help with the power dissipated on the transistors. Okay, finally, we are below 50 and the alarm stopped. So I was saying that uh, the center tap is uh, used with uh, smaller voltages, but when we need uh, higher output, a relay will be automatically turned on and the full secondary of this transformer will be used. So just a little bit of optimization, but you can leave that out in case you want to use a transformer that has uh, that doesn't have a center tap. The entire design is published as open source, so feel free to build your own variant and let me know if you have uh, any comments. All the design is published on my blog and you can use the comments form for any questions you might have. Thanks for watching and hope to see your variants soon.